What's up, everybody? It is Sunday morning, and we have made it all the way through again. You guys have really been crushing it with the likes on the different on the uh, women category. Next week, I'm thinking about changing it up, so let me know what you think. But first, I have to say, we're all in my gym, stars! What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BKA the People's Champion. So, someone in the comments said they wanted us to compare two WNBA players. So today, we have Kenneth Parker and we have Maya Moore. So we have Kenneth Parker that plays with um, the LA Sparks and Maya Moore who plays with the uh, Minnesota Lynx. So, drop it down in the comments who you like, Kenneth Parker or Maya Moore. Peace. Hey, man, get out of my seat, man. Hey, bruh, 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 huh? bruh. I'm going to send you some more Texas. That's what I'm about to do. Well, y'all boys killed me yesterday in them comments yesterday, but I was just being honest about, like, when you do certain things, you always have to be mindful. Like, people exposing DMs and stuff like that, man. That's, that's some crazy stuff to me. But, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, I just wanted y'all to know, you, you just got to know, the way that things work in this world, like you only gonna ever get one side of the story. Uh, you gonna get you gonna get his side, her side, or one side, two side, and then the truth somewhere in between lies the truth. So that's why I say I always be mindful when you do stuff like that, man. But hey, one thing that is the absolute truth, man. Uh, hold up, yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Rip City shirts will be in the store today. They're gonna come in black, uh, white, and red. So only those three colors, the Portland Trail Blazers colors, are gonna be black, white, and red. And um, we'll get those up today. We're gonna have hoodies. We're gonna have the whole nine. I got the new I got the new stuff to, uh, to get them done. They have passed the wash test. Boy, this thing and passed the wash test. Look at that, 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 that. Anyway, check it out. We've got uh, new updates with NBA 2K, man. Now the, the game ain't been updated, it hadn't been fixed, but hey, Paul George is in the park. But uh, check it out, bro. Uh, overall ratings have gone up, and we're gonna just go through them real quick. Hey, Paul George is now a 94. He was a 91, I mean 93 when he got back, but hey, they gave him a point, he's a 94 right now. Luka Donitz has, I mean, uh, not Luka Donitz. Uh, Luka Donitz has gained three points. He's up from a 92 to a 93. And uh, his counterpart, the Porsche God, has lost two points. He's now uh, 85 overall. That sucks. Even though they've been playing great together, Andrew Wiggins has gained four more points. Oh, my goodness. He's up to 84. Hey, that's, what, that's dope right there. And uh, Russell Westbrook has lost two points while Chris Paul has gained a point, man. Gotta love it. Markel Fultz has gained two points, so he's up to 77. Y'all think he's going to make it to 80 in the next couple of days? And last but not... <laughs> Ben Simmons' three-point rating has gained 12 points. It's up from a 35 to a 47. And uh, that's all we got right now, man. That's that's what, you know what, you know, we can't, it can't I can't let them boys try to steal all my, all my content on the video. Y'all know how 2K like to do. You, you had their music playing in the background, and then, uh, yeah, it's over with. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. I, 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 I like that that they go by every day and change the stuff, uh, change those uh, updates for the people that play quick play because we know that quick play and uh, quick play and the other mode, my team, are the lifeblood of the game. The park is probably the smallest part, but it's the most popular mode because it's the part that requires the least, uh, the second least upfront investment. Quick play requires no investment. You just buy the game. The park, you put $50 into a player or you don't put no money into a player and you can get the player and you can do what you do. And then after that, you got my team. But my team takes a lot of money in order to be able to play it at a high level for most people. You do have some my team goats out there that play the game and they just be hooping and they don't buy nothing. They know no money spent. Brutal Sim used to be one of them. Used to hoop all the time. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, it, it's cool, man. Hopefully... We might transition to my team. We might transition to some other stuff. But look here, though. Mike Wong is back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he's tweeting again. And check it out. One guy says, uh, this must be one of Mike's burner accounts or what have you again. But check it out. Uh, what's up, Mike? Hope all is well. Would you be able to tell me exactly what the passing, uh, passing slash ball handling boost does for you? Uh, I'm not sure how it works. None of us are really sure how any of this stuff works. From what we understand, it 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 
it helps consistency that's all we know uh they said mike says it does a few things it boosts your teammates shot percentage off off assist so if you ain't got the passing and ball handling stuff and you're a point guard you might need to do that uh increases your chances of breaking ankles uh if you're not if you're a decent ball handler and reduces the opponent's ability to steal the ball from you like unpluckable does boom hey we finally got some clarity on what these do um from what he was saying, the way that it does it, I don't know if it just helps a finite thing and just says, okay, now he can't get the ball stolen. Or at one point in time, uh, like in 17, it actually gave you a plus five because you could you could speed boost when you did it. In 18, it made you have the effectiveness. So if you had an 85 ball control, it gave you the effectiveness of a person with 90 but not the abilities of them. So you couldn't put on a boost and get extra speed boosting, or you couldn't speed boost, but you could put on a boost and you would be dribbling like somebody that had a 90 ball control. You wouldn't be able to steal it from them. And then, so he says, uh, yes, thanks. Thanks for the reply, man. Not to, not to be picky, but if you have the time, can you please break down how all boosts works, work, what they, what they do exactly? Is it an attribute boost? or like better animations. I, I mean, and then one dude says, shot percentage increase is probably an attribute boost while the ball uh, ball handling boosts are possibly uh, better animations. I'm pretty sure there's something like, you know, people try to go through, Mike never did respond to that. But I can tell you this, we know that when you put on a shooting boost, for most people, there's a dramatic difference. And it's not it's not a dramatic difference in in, you know, your shot rating goes up. It's a dramatic difference in the fact that your consistency goes up. That's all I ever really see when I do that. So, you know, it is what it is. So Mike Wong speaks. When Mike Wong speaks, uh, the people listen. And hopefully when, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, you know, because I am King Petty, I said something and uh, everybody tried to crucify me in the comments and say that, uh, you know, Jay, you don't know nothing about dribbling. Uh, everybody else does different dribble moves. Uh, you're the, you just don't know how to dribble. So you think everything ends with behind the back. Let's see what G man has to say about that. Since that's what y'all, he was one of the guys that y'all said, um, you know, it's different. Hold on one second. You think I would come out with a dribble tutorial because there is nothing in this game that you are struggling with. If you are struggling with a dribble move, dog, if you don't just delete your my player, cause the guard position is not for you. Now, Dribble Tutorial 2K19, 2K18, 2K17, 16, 15, I can understand. But this year, bro, it ain't nothing. It's it's the behind the back, and that's all you got to know. Because every combo has a behind the back. It's in everybody's arsenal. And if it's not, you you just missing out. You must not want to do something because you think you're special. Well, I'm here to tell you, you are not special. You're actually ass. Also, quick little something. You... Let's run that back. Missing out. You must not want to do something. It ain't nothing. It's it's the behind the back, and that's all you got to need. Behind the back, and that's all you got to need. No, because every combo. No, because every what? combo has a behind the back. It's say, in say what, G-Man? And if it's not, you you just missing out. You what? must not want to do something because you think you're special. Well, I'm here to tell you, you are not special. You're actually ass. Wow, G man. Hey, so check it out. So that's hey, that was one of the people that y'all said last time. Hey, hey, you know, they're different. They do this and that, and everything don't begin and end with the behind the back. Well, what are y'all gonna say now? I told you I know these games, bro. If it ain't nothing else in this world, I know it's games. It's video games. I can tell what the meta is right off the bat. I might not be able to do it, but I can tell you what's gonna become meta. And it's gonna be the easiest thing. I said this two months ago. Dang, every every it don't matter what you do before you do the behind the back. Everybody ends with the behind the back, and then they just go from there. Like, come on, man. Like, like, can I get some credit? And then they say, well, no, no, no. People are doing this and that and this and that. And you should look at G Man. Yeah, G Man does have a different style. But like I said, it, it all ends with the behind the back. It begins and ends with the behind the back. And he just said it himself. So like I said, can I get some credit for being right in this mug? Every now and again, come on, man. Like, people just want to take shots at, at, at my skill. Look, bro, I still got eyes. 
I might not dribble, but I can see the same thing. I defend the dribblers. So I know what's going on. It don't matter all this stuff. <laughs> and he did kill Ty. I mean, he did kill it with Tassino and them. He, he I sold him to death, did all of that. But like he said himself, if you don't incorporate that behind the back in your dribbling somewhere, then you're asking to fail. It's just like what T. Mizzle said. Shoot, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to really do nothing because don't nothing else gets you open. And that's the truth. It's sad, but it's true. That don't mean that you gotta resort to it and you gotta rely on it and all of that stuff and use it with screens and blah blah blah. That doesn't mean that. But what it does mean is, I was right, and everybody else was just dick riding. It is what it is. But anyway, like I said, leave it like if if if, if, if Jay keep it real. But like I said though, man, like I said, hey, I just wanted to say I was right, and. It's nice to be recognized as being right by the higher ups in the 2K community. Man, maybe we can make it somewhere. Speaking of the 2K community, uh, we got your boy EJ. Your boy EJ says that he's uh he gon' he gonna cool it a little bit on the 2K community, man. Let me let you listen to him and we're gonna go from there. My ultimate goal, bro, my ultimate goal is to my ultimate goal, bro, is to uh, not just not leave the 2K community, but like go go in a di another direction, bro. And then y'all know, I know, I know y'all niggas think y'all. I know y'all niggas like you know. I only been doing this shit for nine months, you know. But you know, and I look at where I'm at right now in the community, you know. And then the video stops, so we just gonna go. We gonna Everybody go on. Know who I am, you know. We gonna go on from there, man. More or less, what EJ is saying is. He's he's not really leaving the 2K community, but he's gonna take his uh, channel and career and all of that in a different direction, which is always a good idea because everybody in the 2K community that has ever blown up or has blown past. Look, we know that the 2K community has two has between two and six thousand um, subs that everybody can gain from it. So if you keep grinding, you can get in there, you can tap into that, and you use that to elevate yourself to the next location. Um, a lot of people did it. I mean, CJ So Cool was already there, but he played 2K some. He streamed it on Twitch. He did stuff like that. But he did reaction videos. And then when he caught his wave, then he, he made his family about, he made his channel about his family. Cash and all those guys, they used 2K. He, he was talking about, he cited Jesse the Laser as somebody that says, uh, you know, he got more talent than just the 2K community and stuff like that. Hey, it is what it is. Everybody, even Agent and all them guys, like most of the people, the most popular people in the 2K community, they don't really play the game anymore. They just do videos related kind of to 2K and it's basketball-esque or 2K-ish kind of content. And and you, you, you use in the community to, you know, but you're doing something else. So, so Illuminati, all them guys, they, they use the community, get to a certain point, you elevate, and then you take those guys with you to the next level. That's been the thing, Pretty Boy Fredo Aldo, that's what everybody does. Everybody gets to a certain point, and then, you know, you've evolved beyond it. It's just like when Chris Tucker didn't want to come back to do the, do, do uh, next Friday. He felt like he had evolved beyond it. So, hey, once you get to a certain point and you've evolved beyond it, do your thing, keep going, Make the best, make the best decision for you and your family. And the only thing I can say is God speed to you, my good sir. Cause he said, you know, he just feel like the 2K community been toxic and stuff like that. Still say he's gonna stream 2K. He's gonna still do 2K type content, just like everybody else. You do stuff like that, but then you just go in another direction. Even when, even when Fredo uh, stopped doing, like he still does 2K esque stuff but it's for the people okay so it's for the same people in the community it's for the kids in the community the kids the same kids that watch 2k videos are the same kids that watch reaction videos uh funny videos skits challenges and all that those are the same kids that do that so once you tap into those kids it's easy to transition uh to that i don't have and plus you know he's a funny as hell anyway he got more talent than to just have to sit here and do 2k all the time i mean look i ain't got no following i ain't got none of this stuff and once I get there, maybe I'll do the same thing. Or maybe I'm just going to be lazy and keep doing 2K stuff. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just going to transition to regular basketball stuff. I don't know what it is that I would do or maybe want to do. Might be, I might pull a Chris move and just do real basketball content. I don't know. But I'm always play 2K, man. Like, we all, we all still going to play the game and all that. But like I said, when you feel like your talents are too big for what you're doing, it's never a bad idea to take it in another direction. And do your thing, man. Hey. EJ, all the luck in the world to you, all the blessings in the world to you. Godspeed, my sir. And, uh, you know, take your talents, 
Get you, he said he already got an editor, so he's going to be dropping more and more videos, but he's still going to stream 2K. Uh, it's just like Flight. Even Flight did the same thing. Got up there. Uh, Kale hit him up, had, a, had another channel for a little while and all this stuff. Flight got up there. Now he does IRL videos and stuff like that, but he also does uh, 2K. Even Cash, he comes back and he got a different channel to do 2K. So like I said, it's, it's different for everybody. Different strokes, different folks. If you love the game, keep playing the game. If you don't like the game, it might be time to go. I still enjoy this game, so it is what it is to me. But last but not at least, man, we got to get up out of here. Like I said, Godspeed to you, my good sir. Hey, maybe when I reach critical mass and I hit that plateau, then I can go. I am not yet at critical mass, but uh, you know, if you feel like you are, do your thing, man. And uh, hey, if you're not, you can always come back, do 2K, and then get to where you where enough people see you, and then you can transition again. It doesn't matter. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube. You can reinvent yourself at any time. I started out as a Call of Duty channel. I used to do sports and stuff on this channel. I did everything on this channel. I did playthroughs, everything. That's how a lot of people found me. You can re reinvent yourself at any time on YouTube. And, um, hey, do your thing, man. But anyway, we're going to get up out of here, man. hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check it out. We got Candace Parker. Maya Moore. I say Candace Parker. Or Maya Moore. I don't think you can really go wrong with either one of these two uh two women. And it's just like, hey, why why even try to choose, man, when, when you got when you got it like that, man? Just just let's just take both of them. B-O-F-F-U-M. Both of them. We ain't gotta choose. You ain't gotta choose this morning. Both of them is a viable answer. Just make sure you leave a like on the video. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Godspeed to EJ down in the comments. And uh do your thing. Do your thing, dog. Um, and until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Enjoy your Sunday morning. Godspeed!